Hey guys, this is going to be my first tutorial in a group of videos about adding to your live performance by using a laptop or a tablet. We're going to go over things such as running a click track with synchronized backing tracks, using MIDI to change your pedals or effects or sounds, synchronizing a light show, projecting video, and a couple other things. You can use any DAW you want for this. I'm going to be using Logic. Uh, you can use Ableton, Pro Tools, Cubase, Reaper, whatever you want. Uh, I'm just going to be doing this in Logic, but the ideas can be applied to other DAWs as well. Before we start, keep in mind this isn't really going to be a tutorial on how to use Logic or other DAWs. So if you're a complete beginner to this, I recommend checking out Music Tech Help Guy. Uh, he's got an incredible tutorial series on Logic, and I'll post a link in the description. So let's get started. This first video, we're going to go over uh, just general setup. So let's go ahead and open Logic and open up a new session. We're going to add one audio track. Right now, set it to no input because we're not going to be recording anything. Uh, for right now, leave your output at one and two. Let's go up here. We're going to add two more tracks. We're going to do two software instruments. Set it to empty channel strip just for right now. And then number of tracks. Go ahead and put in two and create that. Uh, next thing, make sure your advanced tools are turned on. Go to Logic Pro, Preferences, Advanced Tools, and make sure Show Advanced Tools is checked. Uh, that should be on for Logic anyways. And another thing that I like to do, I like to change the display screen up here to Custom. Let's me just see a lot more of what's going on in the session. If you want to edit this anymore, right click, customize control bar, and then you can add all this other stuff into there. Okay, so let's do our first song that we're going to add click track and backing tracks to. You're going to have to know the tempo of the song. I know that the one that I'm using as an example is at 134 beats per minute. So we're going to go up here and change that to 130, whoops, 134. If you are in a different time signature, you can change that right here. This one's in 4-4. Four, four. So I'm just going to leave it. I will show you in a little bit how to change time signatures if you do that. Okay, for the next step, you're going to have to input a recording of the song that you want to add backing tracks to. If you recorded this in the studio, awesome, drag that in. If you didn't, if you haven't recorded this song yet, the next time you have rehearsal, get a recording of the song played at the tempo that you want. It doesn't have to sound amazing. You can use a recorder on your smartphone um, as long as it's to the tempo that you want to play the song live at. So I'm going to go ahead and drag that in. This is actually a scratch track right here. Drop it in. If it asks you this, just say don't import because you already set the tempo up here. Okay, this next step is the biggest pain in the ass. You have to make sure that the track is right on beat with the metronome in Logic. So I'm gonna turn on the metronome up here. If you don't see this, you can push K to turn it on and off. See, so if it's purple, it's on. So go ahead and let's listen to this for a second. See, this track is a little bit ahead of the beat, so I have to go in here and make sure that this is exactly lined up. So I'm going to zoom in, use my zoom in tools over here. I'm going to give myself a little bit of room to drag this around. So right here on beat 5, I know that everybody comes in. And you can see right here, everything's just a tiny bit behind. So let me drag this over. Let's zoom out. Okay, so that's definitely a lot better on the click. I'll drag this back over here. Cool. So now we can get started. For this next step, you're going to want to set up markers so you know where you are in the song. Trust me on this, it's going to make your life a thousand times easier. Go ahead and set your playhead to the beginning. You can click this button right here or push G to open up the global settings. And then we're going to add a marker. So right here in the marker, add. Double click it. I'm going to set this to piano intro. And then right here... I'm going to set this to intro band enters. And then let me find out where the verse starts. So right here is where verse one starts. So I'm going to add a marker, call it verse one. It's up to you how detailed you want to make this, but trust me, it's going to make your life a thousand times easier. I'm going to do this off screen and then come back when it's done. All right, now I've charted out the entire song. So you can see you have piano intro, verse one, pre-chorus, chorus, post-chorus, post -chorus, verse two, Heavy bridge, Mario bridge as we call it, soft bridge, whatever. You can Again, this is up to you how detailed you want to make this, but you definitely want to chart this out. So that way you don't have to go, uh, what, what part is this? Oh, that's the verse. What part is this? Oh, that's the chorus. It'll save you a lot of time in the long run. All right, so the next video we're going to go over setting up click. This first video was just kind of just basically getting ready. Um, but next one we're going to set up click and cues. So I'll see you guys there. 